Alright. 2019 is officially upon us. Huzzah! But instead of getting all new year new me on you, we wanted to take a minute to thank you for being a part of the amazing creator community and look back on all that we've built together in the past year. Or destroyed. You know. All that. 2018 focused on keeping you more connected than ever. To your fans, to the goings-on at YouTube. <laughs> no, you uh, you still don't tell us shit. Figured out that you're, uh, you have an algorithm that covertly censors videos by keeping them from showing up and recommended and on the homepage. And you took away those numbers from the, from the source code. That was fun. Just fun times. And to the cool new ways to create and grow. There's no new ways to create and grow. It's all the same. Let's take a look at what's new from 2018 and keep the energy going in 2019. Build deeper connections. There are more ways than ever to engage with your viewers and get your voice heard. Turn your video launches into real-time events with premieres, which are fucking stupid. Or give viewers a behind-the-scenes look with stories. I, I don't actually know what those are. This is going to make a great shot. Yes. This, is, this is just Snapchat. This is literally just Snapchat. It is a beautiful day in Tokyo. But there's nothing quite as beautiful as brand new specialty fried chicken. It's Snapchat. It's literally Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat either. It's stupid. Creators for Change 2018 saw 50 plus creators from around the world craft impact films. Oh boy, 50. Alright, let's see. We got. What even is that? We got what that looks like a music video. Another music video. That's bait. That's bait. That looks that looks actually interesting. Uh that's I don't know. That's just clickbaity as shit. And it just over ten minutes. And that one too. Gotta get that extra ad revenue, because you get that ten minute threshold, you can put extra ads in it. Uh, that, eh, I don't, well, it's ASAP science, so that, that actually sounds interesting. That's bait. What even is that? That just looks like a generic, like, college student film. That's bait. I don't know what that is. Something that okay, that at least there's that. That's Tumblr shit. I don't know what that is. That I not enough to know about that. Yeah, it's all preachy shit. They created they sh their shared unique stories of hope, positivity, and acceptance to show that all, to show us all how they use the internet to create change. Oh, by the way, we're still uh, we're still using that uh, that recommended censorship algorithm to keep people from seeing LGBTQ videos and suicide prevention videos and all that. You know, acceptance. Succeed on your own terms, bitch. Take advantage of new tools that help you get paid doing what you love. You know, as long as doing what you love is one of, like, three things. Tools like YouTube Analytics and Snapshot can help you better understand your audience. No, they help you better understand their numbers. That's not your audience, that's, th that's their numbers. Actually interact with your audience, that's how you, that's how you learn your audience. They're people, not numbers. 
Get insights into your data that actually make sense so you can make sure your next step makes sense for you. Your next step makes sense. It makes sense. Well, you have to be mad. Here directly from YouTube, bitch. The quarterly letters from our CEO, Susan. Let's see what these are. Hi everyone, this is Susan Wojcicki, CEO of YouTube. I'm back to give an update on what's been happening the last few months. Thanks to all of your hard work, we continue to see strong momentum across the platform. In the last year, the oh, number right, of channels- Oh, one. It's the one where they complain about uh, Article 13. And they, they're like, oh, this is, this is gonna uh, prevent people from creating videos with transformative content. But okay, basically what Article 13 does is it forces content sharing websites to put content filters, automatic content filters to prevent copyrighted material from being shared. Well, what, what it thinks is copyrighted material anyway, because, you know, algorithms don't understand what fair use is. And basically, the those those systems are already in place on YouTube. That's what it is. That's what YouTube has been doing. We don't need the EU to do that. And they're coming out and saying they're on our side. They, no. Just liars. The YouTube Creators Channel. What is this? Oh, and of course it puts it through a some bullshit Google tracking URL. <laughs> Fuck YouTube business. Toys review. The scourge of YouTube. The new YouTube studio. By the way, we still don't have a. We don't. We still don't have an actual caption editor. That's part of that. We still use the old one. Advice from a YouTube partner manager with Mein Kampf. Making money beyond ads. Doesn't YouTube hate people doing that? Like they shut down like Patreon videos, something like that? Oh, super chat, right. Live stream shit. What's the ideal video length? Just over 10 minutes. More videos, less effort, sort of. Yeah, that's, that's YouTube. Between music videos. Oh, right, okay. VR stuff, I don't know, I don't know. I fell out of VR. Navigating copyright for artists. Oh yeah, you hear about that, uh, that, the fat rat thing? Where, uh, some random jackass claimed his video. Like, someone made a, someone made a bootleg of his, of one of his songs, and then some other guy claimed it, and completely unaffiliated with the fat rat and the person who made the bootleg. Because, you know, you can do that on YouTube. You can just do that to make free money. Creator Insider Channel. All about Creator Insider. YouTube News Flash. Subs D spam. Right, that thing. I only lost one subscriber on Jiva Cupper and nothing nothing important. Other other well elsewhere. I don't know. Could be good, but if it's if it's automatic, it's gonna be shit. How to get more super chat dollar dollars. Stories and stories. I don't care. I don't care about stories. It's just, it's, it's literally Snapchat. Do ads affect search and discovery? Uh, well, no, but they are very closely correlated. They're different but similar algorithms. And the YouTube Studio dashboard, right, that. 
are all new ways to keep up with what's happening at YouTube and get tips and tricks for making the most out of your YouTube channel. You shouldn't want to make the most out of your YouTube channel. You should want to use it to, you know, publish stuff that you that you enjoy creating. You know, broadcast yourself rather than broadcast what makes you the most money. Shane and Hannah, who? Decided to start a channel about something that pe most people are curious about. Their relationship. Who who even are these people? Why would I care about their relationship? What, are they just the Kardashians or something? Where I care about them because they're famous or something? They're a couple and Shane has a severe muscle disease called SMA and, well, Hannah doesn't. They share their story and show viewers how, armed with laughter and love, they navigate everyday life their own way. Yeah, whatever. Was this email helpful? No, of course it wasn't. You said, bitch. What the fuck? Okay. What does that mean? Why am I signed out? You stupid shit. All right. Not even letting me. Dumbass motherfuckers. Anyway, more stupid YouTube lying bullshit, whatever. 